I've been choosing rare cards more often than not, and I think it's worth 99 gold because Hyper Beam, again, could be really great Act 1, Act 2. I think the new Electric Dynamics can be played around. Basically what that means is I'm not going to get the shop, but I could potentially get a really good rare. And there's an Elite. This is a great path. I'm going to go for it. What do we get? We got Hyper Beam. We're going for it. So this is going to be a Hyper Beam deck, which is fine because it's strong. I love it. In fact, let's see where the boss is, because Hyper Beam sometimes feels a little bit... I guess the Slime Boss, I think we're going to be fine. So our goal here now is to get like a... Um, to get Beam Cell, right? It's some kind of vulnerable. Mmm. I think Rebound's fantastic. So you rebound the, go the Hyper Beam and you do it again the next turn. We can get the gold. I don't mind getting the gold because we're about to have a late shop, right? We're going to have a late shop here. So getting the gold could be potentially nice. But at the same time, removing a card, for me, has been so successful. I think the more strikes are removed, the happier I am, the more successful the runs are. So we're going to go ahead and uh, remove those strikes. And look, look how easy that is. That's why, I mean, Act 1's a joke when you have it. So because we have Hyper Beam... I either want to bring it back with Hologram, right, if I upgrade Hologram, or I can do Steam Barrier. And I've been finding Steam Barrier to be pretty successful, because basically, you're going to have some expensive cards, some high tempo, low tempo cards, like Echo Forms, Creative AIs, or like Sunder, whatever, cards that take up a lot of your mana, and Steam Barrier is going to be a nice way to get consistent block, or even get more block than you would otherwise, because it's zero cost, and you're drawing five cards a turn, right? So treat this as a deflect on the Silent, and I like this card a lot. Strike, strike is super weak on defect. Yes, exactly. I agree. I think I'm going to go for the Hollow Room because we are going to get an upgrade. And I like the concept not only to rebound the Hyper Beam, but also to hologram the Hyper Beam and just kill everything in sight. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Hologram. But you could argue that the Steam Bear gives me more defense because right now we're probably going to be lacking a little bit of defense. But look how easy Act 1 is. In fact, because I have Hyper Beam, I'm going to go ahead and do two Elites right now. There's a Steam Barrier anyways, right? So you can go for go for the eyes, which gives you the weakening, but I think we want block. At this point, we have very high offense, not enough block. Eh, I want to pass on that. So we can go for three leads. Uh, two leads. I think we can go for two leads. So Gremlin Knob, I think, is not going to be too big of a, d a deal. I think the Triple Sentry is going to be a super easy fight. I mean, this guy is... He does suck a little bit. I'm going to do double strike, because if I do zap... The big chance is not going to be as effective once I use Hyper Beam. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and block pot. In fact... I think there's a big chance we're going to get lethal... Within two turns. So I'm going to go ahead and defend and block pot. And this is the hardest elite for the, the beginning, right? The Gremlin Lab is the hardest elite in the beginning. Oh, this is kind of unfortunate. So Hyper Beam just kills. I think there's... You probably want to just defend, defend, and, and do rebounds. It would be unlucky if I don't draw Hyper Beam next turn, but you know what? I'm taking that risk. I... Exactly. I, and I agree with that, Mickey. I don't like how Hyper Beam kind of narrows the archetype down completely in a lot of ways. So it basically means, like, you can kind of say goodbye to Frost archetypes, Dark Orb. I mean, you can still gold the archetype. So I've done things where I still pick up a Dark Orb. And I'll try to like change my plan for boss fights because uh, Hyper Beam is a very strong hallway fight card. But when you're going to boss fights, you still want some scaling either with or you want consistent defense with Frost. And Hyper Beam kind of just throws it out the way. So there's a way you can still balance it. So like maybe not play Hyper Beam in boss fights and still operate with orbs. But it does narrow down your choices, right? Cards that you would normally want, like powers and cards that would normally be really nice, like Defrag, the new Electric Dynamics, get narrowed down a little bit. Uh, there's a there's a chance we're gonna get lethal, so I'm gonna go ahead and defend again. You could argue, okay, rebound strike would give me more chances to get lethal. Again, I'm just gonna full defend again, because this is guaranteed lethal next turn. I'm giving him a lot of strength, and maybe I took more damage than I was supposed to. I don't know. All in all, it wasn't too bad. I think that was that was definitely the hardest elite for me. And we got out of it alive, and now the next elite's probably going to be pretty easy. I mean, the Lagavulin is still kind of hard, but... The reason why Lagavulin is hard is because you actually want to use the time that the, the egg is sleeping to set up powers and maybe do things like orbs. Hyper Beam just wants to go <laughs> and attack, and that's not really the best thing. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, Scrape, Tempest, or I might skip here. I don't think Scrape is really doing that much for me. 
Later on, it might do some stuff. Like, I can, I could get Steam Barrier with it, and with the Zap, I might get it. But Zap and Dual Cast are no longer as good because of this card, right? So, I think I'm going to skip Scrape. And there's a chance we actually die here, honestly. If it's the Lagavulin, just because Lagavulin... I'm really hoping it's a triple century. Ah, uh, okay. I suppose we could do this. We got fruit juice, very nice. We got potion. Wait, what? Poison. Yeah, I'm gonna do poison pot. I'm gonna do everything I can just because this is probably not gonna be that easy for me. Let's go for it. Let's have some fun. Uh, scrap. This could be this could be a snake wide deck, and scrap is great in that. Yeah, but I don't like really going. I don't know if I should use thorns. Oh, this just sucks because I'm. Oh, I'm getting hologram next time. So next time I have hologram hyper beam. I don't think that's lethal. Oh no, we have centennial puzzle. So there's no way. So this is interesting. If we do rebound hyper beam, we have guaranteed lethal. But we're also taking twenty damage to the face. So. It's hard to say. I could block, block, hologram. Only take seven damage. And then... So the next turn I have strike, strike. So I'm doing 12, right? He's taking three. So that's 15. The next turn he's taking two. That's 17. And if I draw hyper beam, it would be lethal. So I would have to draw into it again. There's a chance that I don't draw into it again. And then that's going to suck. But it also... <laughs> I also don't want to take 20 to the face. I mean, okay, we have a, we have a rest and a rest if we need it. This is the problem with Lag of Willet and Hyper Beam, man. Hey, how you doing, uh, with Lady Slask? Finally got a chance to catch you live, and I must admit, I'm a huge fan of your uh, STS, but I keep it up. Hey, no problem, man. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. But I was going to say that I don't really like building towards an idea that I might get Sneko Eye, because if I don't get Sneko Eye, then I put a card that was less than optimal. Straight right now doesn't think it's doing too much for me. You could argue, okay, there's a lot of zero cost cards and stuff, but I don't know. I don't think it's the best fit. What do you guys think here? This is all for the streak. Yeah, this is for the streak right now, guys. I can guarantee lethal and take 20, or I could take a risk and just say I defend, defend. Next turn, I have a free turn, and there's still a chance I can do damage. So I would be at 20. So I wouldn't die if I do this. If I do this play, I'm not going to die. Because I'm still going to have 20 HP. I would have to draw into zero defense in order for me to die. Which is really unlikely. <laughs> it's unlikely, but it's happening. There's a chance that I actually do die. Because if I don't get... Defense next turn, I'm fucked, actually. So I ended up taking... 7 plus 9. <laughs> okay, so... I ended up taking 2 extra damage. By, by trying to do that play, I ended up taking 2 extra damage. So lesson learned is, go for the guaranteed lethal. Because um, you can't guarantee you're going to get Hyper Beam next turn. So then I ended up taking 4 extra damage, actually. So that play made me take 4 extra damage. But there was a chance that I took less damage, right? So I thought that was worth it. thought that was worth it. Anyways, guys, there's the two things we could do here. I like Beam Cell a lot because that makes it vulnerable. And the vulnerable of Hyper Beam is insane damage. But I also really like Reinforced Body. Because right now I'm in a situation where I want to make sure I have good defense. And... For me, the most consistent thing for me in order to win is to get defense. Like, uh, you want to make sure you're always getting consistent defense. And right now, I have Hologram Steam Bear and 4 defense. It's not that great. I think Reinforced Body is going to make more sense. And you could argue Beam Cell is on, uh, common. I might find it again. And I think my damage is good enough as it is without the Beam Cell that I'm fine. I'm going to go for the Reinforced Body. You could also argue that Steam Bear is still pretty good because Hyper Beam is kind of expensive. Uh, so reinforced body's fine here. I mean, ideally... We could do zap, reinforced body. So this is what?
Okay, so we're not dying, right? We're gonna have to get arrested. This is still doing 10 damage. But this is also- Ooh, wait. 10 damage. Okay, so we're fine. Uh, we just, maybe doing too- Whoa, we got Echo Form. Wow, 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 guys. So Echo Form is insane with Hyper Beam, first off. Second off, I have Gambling Chip, which allows me to look for Echo Form easily. So that if I can get Echo Form ASAP, especially against this Flying Boss. So against this Flying Boss, I have two turns to look for Echo Form. And then once we get Echo Form out, the first Hyper Beam is going to be double. And you could argue, okay, that's probably going to be too much damage. It's going to be not a good split. But thereafter, let's say I have Rebound and then Hyper Beam or Hologram. Thereafter, the double Hyper Beam is going to destroy the Slime Boss. Uh, Echo Form is obviously really good. It is a little bit of a low tempo card. It's kind of expensive. You probably want something like Turbo to help get it out, etc. Self Repair right now is really good in my situation because I'm low on life. And if I'm going to be going a very aggressive deck, which I am with Hyper Beam, I'm going to need that Self Sustain. So it's like, do I want the Echo Form or do I want the Sustain? I'm going to go for the Echo Form. I'm going to rest. And I'm going to hope that this shop gives me something... Ah. Mm, interesting. We got the Beam Cell. Oh, we got the... You know what? Trip is even better. You know what's even better? The Bag of Marbles. This is crazy, guys. How you doing, by the way, Lucas? Welcome. And how you doing, uh, Julian? Welcome, guys. Hey, thank you, Patreon. Appreciate it, man. How you doing? So, with Trip, we get a free AoE Vulnerable if it's upgraded. And with Bag of Marbles, we get a guaranteed Vulnerable first turn with Gambling Chip. If we find Hyper Beam, we're doing insane damage. So let's say we have the Guaranteed Vulnerable, we do Gambling Chip, look for Hyper Beam, we're doing insane damage. But, um, that's 140. If I do Trip, I could get the Vulnerable, keep playing it, and still remove a card, which is going to be nice, because by removing Strikes, I have more consistent defense. You could also do Beam Cell, and by doing Beam Cell, I can get Beam Cell and the Bag of Marbles. There's two things, right? So I can do Bag of Marbles, Beam Cell, have both ways to get Vulnerable, or I can do Trip, remove a Strike. I think Trip is probably the better Vulnerable. It doesn't do damage, but when this becomes AoE alongside the Hyper Beam, it's actually insane. Yeah, and, but if we're also trying to look for Echo Form first turn, then the Bag of Marbles is not as beneficial, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with Dark Orbs. I know you guys know I love Dark Orbs. If you guys don't know, I love Dark Orbs. But, unfortunately, uh, we're in a situation where Hyper Beam doesn't help Dark Orbs too much. I mean, I think Dark Orbs are still the best orb to have when you are doing um, Hyper Beam. Because Dark Orbs will still scale a little bit and you can still get that damage. Uh, the, another thing we can get is Turbo. Because I, I mentioned how we have Echo Form now. And we also have Reinforced Body, right? So Reinforced Body, we have the Echo Form. We have targets where Turbo would want to be in play so that we can kind of mitigate some of the bad tempo of these cards. So then if we're going to go for Turbo, then we're going to have to say, you know what, I'd rather get Beam Cell because I can't do Trip, Turbo, Beam Cell, or I can't do Turbo, Trip, Remove, and I want to remove. So if I want to remove, I could do Turbo, Beam Cell, Remove. Or I could say, you know what, removing is not as important, just do Turbo, Trip. Sundra Echo Form is pretty great, yes, but if I do Sundra Echo Form, then I'm in a situation where I have a lot of expensive cards. And, okay, I could roll the nuts and get Sneko Eye, but I'd rather try to keep the balance a little bit better. If I am going to get Sundra, I would get the Turbo as well. I think Turbo is just going to be guaranteed in any in any situation. And I think I do want to remove the Strike, so I guess we're not going to have to get Trip. Although Trip is so good, like I said, guys, of Hyper Beam, because I'm thinking this. In Act 2, we're going to fight... The Gremlin Leader potentially as an elite, the Slavers as an elite, and if it's the Slavers, then Trip is fantastic. Yeah, what's up? Oh, okay. Oh, guys, uh, if guys, if you're if you're watching the live stream and you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up button. I guess is the YouTube thing. Hit the, hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube stream, and that helps other people see that I'm live streaming. I suppose my girlfriend's trying to give me some YouTube tips. So if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. Get some more people in this little win streak party right now. When I have the glasses on, that means we're on a streak, guys. So right now we're 2-0. Um, I do like the trip a lot. I don't know if I like trip sunder. I think I like trip turbo. Then we won't get the, the removal. I suppose, okay, whatever. We won't get removal. Let's do it. Trip sunder. All right, I need to survive this. which We should be fine. We got trip. I want to make sure I have defense.
I'm just gonna butter both of them up because when I get hyper beam is guaranteed lethal, right? It sucks that I took one damage there. And we didn't even get hyper beam. Okay. That's cool. Hyper beam is guaranteed next turn. I mean, I wonder if it's worth to upgrade the trip, right? So, trip is going to be really good in this slime boss fight, so I can kill both of them equally. Wow, this is interesting. Alright, so I kind of like skim a lot here, guys. Because we already have a turbo, right? So, we can use skim and turbo together to get better tempo. Then we can also use the skim to help find the trip, to help find the steam bear, to help find the echo form, or hyper beam, or whatever. And we, since we have turbo in the deck, we can potentially play those cards with the skim. Another thing we could do is Claw. So Claw doesn't get bothered by the focus. And Claw would give me some more scaling. So Hyper Beam right now is flat damage. And Claw could be some kind of scaling damage. Right now we have no scaling. So that's also a consideration. But then I'm going a little attack heavy again. And I'd rather maybe take the card draw. Or just skip. So if I skip I get max HP. And that gives me some health now. But it also makes my rest better because I have more max HP. So I might do that as well. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you for the likes. And how you doing, Than Thanasis? Welcome, man. It's a little bit of healing, yes, but also you got to think about the, the long run where having max HP, it gives your rest better, so your rest become more effective, right? And I don't think Claws is as effective without... I didn't pick up a scrape. I don't have all for one. I do have Hologram, so I could do Claw, Hologram, Claw, get the quick scaling. I think we should be a little attack heavy if I do that. We also have Echo Form, so we could potentially do Echo Form, Claw... That's also a thing we could do. Um, but I do like the skim. I think it's going to make sense with what my deck's doing right now. It's either that or skip. And given this fight, I mean, I, I ideally don't want to rest. I want to get an upgrade in and use the first treat for two turns to get Echo Form out potentially. And maybe get a good split with the Hyper Beam. I'll do skim. And the question is, if we rest, I feel like we're making a mistake. I think we can manage with what our deck's doing. There's two things we could do, right? We could upgrade the reinforced body, get better block, so that when we, when we play this, is going to be a really good block for us. We could upgrade the trip so that when we split, we have the AoE vulnerable, which helps with the uh, hyper beam stuff. We could upgrade turbo so that when we do get turbo, we can play things like echo form and anything else I may want to play. And this might be a really good pick. Because if you think about it, if I'm going for a big split, trip is not going to help me in that situation, right? It's... It's... It's a single target slime for the first phase. So it probably makes more sense to upgrade turbo just so I can get better turns. Let's upgrade the turbo. Although, and there are times we actually don't want to, um, I want to get rid of all of this, right? So we, I want to find Echo Form ASAP. All right, that was unfortunate. I'm also gonna, a part of me wants to rebound the turbo. Because my whole goal here is to like, that's going to give me more void in my deck, but the whole goal here is to, damn, we're really not getting Echo Form. Wow, we're getting Echo Form Hyper Beam on the same turn. That is unfortunate. Okay. So there's a few things we could do here. That's really unfortunate, actually. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Actually, I could just skim now. Oh, okay. This is actually okay. This is, this is okay. So I could go ahead and do Turbo, play the Echo Form. Only problem is... Next turn, we're gonna have the potential to get Voids, because we have two Voids in our deck now. But we got the Echo Form out, and we have the Weaken. So we should survive this attack, and as long as we survive this attack and get him a little bit low, I'm okay with the fact that Hyper Beam is not being played. So we have Double Steam Barrier for zero. Then we have Hologram as well. I mean, we have we have a decent play here. I think I'm guaranteed to. I think I'm gonna guarantee play weak in here. Okay. I think so. Now that I played Steam Bear twice, it's still five for some reason, and that's actually better for me to play this because that means I can get rid of the strike. But I also want to do a strike. I mean, I can get rid of the slime, but I'd rather do a strike because I want to still get him close to a split. So we take damage, which is good because we get three card draw. Only three damage, not too bad. And now we got the double hyper beam, which is pretty nutty. That's doing 64 damage. That's pretty decent. I could even do a turbo on top of it and get like a strike and get rid of the slime. I think it's pretty good. 
So if you can say goodbye to Lightning doing anything, I think it would make sense right now to actually do Turbo Strike, maybe skim for another strike. I think it makes sense. So let's do Turbo. Ooh, what was that? Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. So we actually get out some of the, the voids, which is great, and we get a little bit better split. The next Hyper Beam should be some good stuff. I don't think we're going to die here. I could dual cast for 4 damage, but I'd rather just defend defense. Well, actually. Here, I'd rather do this. Take no damage. Get rid of the slime. I do, Marcel. Alright, so here we get double trip. I mean, at this point... At this point, Hyperman is killing them. I just, it's just drawn Hyperman and I win, basically. There it is. GG, guys. GG. So this is the Echo from Hyperman, guys. This is, this is it. This is... Wow. Okay. Wow. So we got Seek Amplify Hyperman again. Now, in this situation, we don't know... It's not artifact, but it's a, it's a liquid bronze. It's two thorns. It's one of the new potions. In this situation, we don't know the the uh, the relic. If it's Snekawai, okay, I, w I don't mind getting another Hyper Beam if it's Snekawai, but I don't know if it's going to be that. I think Seek makes a lot of sense here, because Seek can be used to find the Echo Form and get that out ASAP. In fact, when I upgrade Seek, it's going to be used for Echo Form and Turbo, potentially, so I can play Turbo, play the Echo Form, and still have my regular turn, and then next turn... I do whatever I want, and it starts being crazy. Amplify is not that great. I mean, you could Amplify Echo Form, but after that, Amplify is a dead card, and Seek can guarantee it. So we're going to go and get the Seek. And we got the Snekawai. I mean, I had a feeling that this Seed was going to give me Snekawai. And I think even with Snekawai, I think Seek was the right choice, just given the circumstances, given that I'm not a fortune teller. But uh, we got the Snekawai, guys, so this is going to be... An Echo Form Snekawai Hyper Beam deck. I mean, if this is going to continue the streak, what better way to do it, right? What better way to do it? I'll go for one Elite. I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't want to get too frisky. We'll, we'll do one Elite. I mean, we could go for four rest and go two Elites at the end. And I think at that point, our deck should be strong enough that we can do two Elites, no problem. And we do get the most upgrades at that point, right? The alternative is to go for a shop, get Elite right here, and then get another Late Shop, three rests. At any point, am I scared of two elites back-to-back? -back? I mean, slavers, I think we destroy the slavers. Focus stabbing might be difficult. But if we get Echo Form out, it should be fine. The Gremlin Leader should be fine as well. Do I want to see a st shot? You know what? I'll go this path. I'll go for the four rest, two elites. It's fine. What's nice about this combo, right? Because now we have Snickawai and we have Gambling Chip. So basically, I can just choose to get rid of any non-zero card so this is perfect turbo is also pretty good in stick away because i can get better turns it's not guaranteed to be free but still pretty good and now i have echo form for zero first turn and i'm drawing seven cards a turn so this is going to get nutty very quickly like turbo right here is allowing me to do trip and hyper beam it's not lethal but well trip is a little bit worse Tr trip is a little bit worse you could argue that maybe it's better to do rebound hyper beam strike, right? Okay, let's do. Let's do. We're taking a lot of damage. <laughs> that's something that's happening right now. So we would definitely want some sustain, whether it be self repair, whether we want meat in the bone. We need some kind of sustain because right now we're taking lots of damage. But another uh, nice synergy with Snake Away is hologram. Often people don't realize that. You're going to get Hologram for free, which can be pretty nutty. I think All for One is pretty good with Snake Away. Because it, All for One can pull cards that are zero that weren't necessarily supposed to be zero, like Meteor Strike. Uh, let's just defend twice. And you know, we can still do damage. Well, how about this? Let's do damage. Bring back the damage. That's fine. Rebound Hyper Beam for the win. Yeah, maybe that was the better play. But we got Rebound Hyper Beam anyways. I mean, well, at this point, Hyper Beam twice is lethal. So our damage is still very nutty. So we just need to self-repair. We got a region bot. That's not bad. We got Leap Plus. I'm a huge fan of Leap Plus. Um, I think Scrape could be good. Because if you think about it, Scrape may pull cards that are not supposed to be zero. I mean, I've had times where Scrape is pulling Echo Form and it's zero. And how you doing, Matthew? 
Hey, I'm glad you glad you joined us. Hey, good to see you, man. Good day, everybody. So yeah, scrape is better, guys. But I, I'm always of the mind that I feel like I need consistent defense. And you guys are gonna be mad. Like you should take the scrape. It's gonna be nutty. Snake eyes. It's gonna pull random cards. That shouldn't be zero. I still think the leap is better. I'd rather have consistent defense. I've been I've been down that road, guys. I've been down the road where. Well, okay, we have good defense here. In fact, I'm keeping this whole hand first off. I'm gonna do rebound hyper beam. I should have done trip. Because we're fine on defense. I should have done trip first. Oh, now I got trip back instead of. Okay, I messed that up. We won't talk about it. I just rebounded a trip instead of the hyper beam. It still should be fine. Because we got hologram. So it's fine. It's GG. I mean, that's crazy. That was a crazy snake eye turn. The amount of. That was nutty. That was nutty. I'm gonna do leap again. I've I found guys that it's very important. I'm gonna do the region pot here. So this is a three cost snake away. I mean uh eggle form. I wish it wasn't. Okay, here's what I wanna do. So leap is 12 for two. This was 17. This was 14 for two. So I could have played something else. We're fine though. Hey, Anfotel, how you doing, uh, Anfotel? You just realized that rebound hyper beam seek is funny. Yes, it is. It's very funny. We could hologram the echo form and then play turbo. No, it's actually turbo's actually not good here. Let's just do this. Oh, it's you, Champagne. Oh, how you doing, Matthew? See, everybody's name is different. It's hard to see. How you doing, Tom St. Clair? I think Snake Eye decks are extremely fun on the defects. He has so many cards that benefit from uh, Snake Eye. We could, we could seek. So the thing about seek is I don't know if it keeps the cost that you see in your deck. We're going to do it for science, guys. Let's make sure I full defend first. But for science, well, let's do this first. Hmm. Never mind, I can't do science because I don't want to take damage. We can't do the science just yet. We got, we got the echo form out. So there's two things I could do. I could do hyper beam. See, the thing is, if I hologram, tri the trip is too expensive. But what I could do is I can hologram the rebound, right? And then rebound hyper beam. And you could argue that, okay, echo form is just as good, but with this guaranteeing lethal. GG. Okay, so our deck's doing really well. We got loop plus. Now, guys, I was using this card loop when it wasn't even good. Like, when loop used to be two mana at first, it upgraded to one mana, and then when you upgraded it, it did one next time. And with Dark Orbs, this was insane. Now they made loop one minute to start with, and then when it upgrades, it does two, the next orb two times. So right now, this is not really a loop deck, but I want you guys to know, loop right now is in a state of... It's very powerful. I've also had runs with loop plus and the new electrodynamics. So the way that works is if you have electrodynamics and loop plus, you're doing either twice the AoE damage or you're doing even more single target damage. It's insane. Imagine then you at that point you have Amplify for the, the loop or Amplify for the Electrodynamics or Echo Form on either of those. You are actually, you're playing with broken cards. So right now, loop and Electrodynamics are in a very bad place in terms of balance. I mean, I love it. But if you guys want some wins, you should definitely go that route. I'm going to have to skip here just because loop's not doing much for me. If I get a Plasma, then yes, I will take it. And maybe I might look for Plasma. But right now, it's not doing anything for me. We don't have no focus. It's unfortunate. Seeing that breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. We got Echo Form for free. I mean, not for free, but practically. And let's go ahead and look for Hyper Beam here, because we have rebounds. Unfortunately, we can't play it. So here's what I'm going to do. A part of me wants to look for Turbo. I think it's worth it. We found the Turbo. So now we can do Rebound Hyper Beam. Now, what that does for me, guys... 
I don't know if you guys are aware. Next turn I have Heavy Beam twice with the Vecco form. It should be GG here. I want to do trip, but then that's gonna waste the echo form, so I'll do this. With trip, I think we got a lethal. And just like that. The chose is supposed to be difficult, but with this kind of deck, it's insane. Sunder is amazing. Sunder is gonna be most likely cheaper than what it's supposed to be. And then it's gonna give you energy gain. I mean. Alright, guys. Somebody in my comments recently was talking about uh, a Snake Wide run. And I haven't uploaded a Snake Wide run on the defects yet. At least not to this extent. So, luckily for them, here it is. <laughs> Enjoy! I think Sunder is a decent uh, upgrade in terms of damage. I think Trip being AoE is a little bit decent, but again, this is kind of... This card is having some trouble, because it's not being free. I think Seek is okay, but it's also having some trouble, because it's not free. So, I would say the best things for me to upgrade would be card draw and Skim. Um, the, the block amount in Reinforced Body or Leap, or the damage on Sunder to get that... A little point where I can start getting the um, the energy back. I mean, even if I don't get the energy back, this this would be like still cheaper than what it's supposed to be. It's still good damage as it is, right? So just okay. Mm, who's the boss? Let's see who the boss is. I like the AOE because we're about to fight a boss that has uh, AOE. Right? And I like having the AoE vulnerable, but again, this is not doing too much in terms of... I'm having trouble playing this, so I'm going to do the Sunder right here. And guys, if you guys are enjoying the stream, apparently, in terms of YouTube, it would help if you guys just uh, give a little thumbs up. If you guys are enjoying it. Okay, here, 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 this is, I think, is lethal this turn. So we have Turbo, right? Trip. Oh, this is what happens when you don't upgrade Trip. Never mind. Take it back. But at least we can rebound. It's GG. So these fights, like, Act 2 just gets destroyed by Hyper Beam is insane. It's just so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and skip here. I think Barrage does not make much sense because I'm not really generating orbs. Cold Snap gives me Frost, which is kind of useless with uh, Hyper Beam. Axe Kick. I love this card, but not in this deck right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade the trip now, then. I mean, I, we saw the potential. And especially, we might be going against the Slavers. So if we're going against the Slavers, it's a good upgrade. And if we're going against the Gremlin Leader, it's also a good upgrade. I think making Reinforced Body, since it's an X cost, it's not going to get affected by Sneko. I think this is a good upgrade, because this could always be something I could fall back on. This is probably the harder Elite fight. We got free Echo Form, so never mind. Probably not. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. I don't mind using Turbo here just so I can get full defense, right? Beautiful. Gorgeous. How you doing, Chet Charles? Welcome to the stream, man. So we got Sunder twice. That's 96 damage. Right? I would like to rebound that. Obviously, the rebound doesn't work too well with this. So I think 96 damage is pretty ideal. We could uh, do a... Let me see. Let me see what we could do here. I could do energy pot and block for 18, right? So I might as well use these potions anyways, just because I might get a potion and I would feel bad that I wasted it. Taking 3 damage, 4 damage, not a big deal to me. Because this is guaranteed lethal right here. GG. These elites are getting destroyed. I mean, this is a really smooth run. We got Regal Pillow. We got Consume, and I really like Consume, and the fact that it's upgraded is fantastic, and it works really well with Snickawai, but I think it's too conflicting with what my deck is doing. You could argue, okay, I could use Consume with Echo Form and potentially counteract the Hyper Beam, but then you're just doing, you're like fighting a war against yourself, right? You're like, okay, I'm gonna lose focus, but I'm gonna gain focus, I'm gonna lose focus, but I'm gonna gain focus, and then, then you're going nowhere. Consume could be interesting, just for food for thought, it could be interesting to do... A different change of mind, right? So I say, okay, for this fight, I don't really want to use Hyper Beam because I don't think Hyper Beam scales very well in a team in a, a boss fight. So what I'm going to do is use Consume for the boss fights, get the focus up. But then, then you got to say, okay, but I'm not really generating orbs. I don't have any frost, so it would be no benefit at all. So this is definitely a skip here. All right, I think we fought the hardest elite. I think the next two elites are pretty easy. I'll get rid of all this, and I'm going to look for. 
Echo form. We're still gonna seek the echo form. Perfect. Am I gonna go ahead and remove remove all cards now? Well, it depends. It depends on what I'm offered in terms of removal. <clears throat> so Leaf is already covering the damage. So what I'm gonna do is double uh, double trip, get that vulnerable for a long period of time, and then we're gonna leap. I think so. Sunder's gonna be really nice, especially on the chosen. If I get Sunder, chosen's dead. Well, I forgot that I was weakened. But if I do hologram, then she's dead. And you know, this is even. Um, no one saw that. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the YouTube stream. Good to see you guys. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather do this. Okay. This. Nice. You know what's funny, guys? If if the second proc of Echo Form doesn't go off in terms of... Like, if, it, if the Sunder doesn't go off, then what happens is you still get the Echo Form. And we're, we're, do, we're destroying this. It's GG. I think stack is great. So stack plus is really nice. It's a nice way to get more defense. Um, yeah, I think stack plus is great. I love it. So sh the slavers would be the nuts, and we got it. Okay, so unfortunately, Echo Form's a little expensive, but here's what we got. We got Turbo, so we can get these things out and also end up with a reinforced body, so that when we do find the Hyper Beam, we're in a good position. So let's do Echo Form, Turbo. This right here is already doing 27 block. And we're looking at 29 damage, but with the defend I cover it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna strike, reinforce body, defense. Because I have a free strike, I can go ahead and do it again. And I'm gonna do that just because, well, it actually should be hitting, well, it doesn't matter because if I get Hyper Beam is guaranteed lethal on, on all of them. So Hyper Beam is a guaranteed win. And that right there, I forgot about the weakening yet again. They're still killing two of them. It's still killing two of them, so if I take... I'll take seven damage, it's fine. So if I was a little bit smarter, I could have, um... Hit this girl twice in the middle, because she has, or he has, the most life. And I could have gotten guaranteed lethal on both, but... You know, seven damage for an elite fight, it's pretty ideal for me. Letter Open. I think Letter Open is very strong. The AoE is very nice. And there are often times where I'm going to play three skills of Sneko I think a Wee Potion might be better than Thorns. I think Auto Shield is a very good block. So it doesn't work with Echo Form, right? So it does, it does get a little awkward with Echo Form. But I think on the turns where I don't have Echo Form, it's still a very nice block. We could go for the heal and try to get running through a Dekahedron value. But I think I would rather choose a card. Okay. So what do you guys see? What do you guys see here? Yeah, Seek is not random my cost, unfortunately. Hey, how you doing, Friendly Venice? Welcome, welcome. Echo Sneko, yes, yes indeed. I see a Meteor Strike, and I think Meteor Strike is insane. Because it's not affected by focus, and the plasma means that I'm going to have turns in which I want to have more energy to, to, to use, right? Which can be utilized in Reinforced Body, and it can just be utilized with Skim and just playing cards in general. Um, there's Electrodynamics, which is obviously really nice, but it doesn't work with this deck right now. So uh, to me, it just seems like a Meteor Strike is the guaranteed pick. You just gotta pick it. So now we have an Echo Form, Hyper Beam, Meteor Strike deck. I could go ahead and rest and get the Runeth Dekahedron. That's gonna give me full life. So I'm start operating with four energy a turn. Because you gotta look here. What upgrades do I have that are worth it? You could say Seek might be worth it. But I'm hardly playing it because first off, it doesn't randomize the cost. And second all, it's not always free. You could argue that okay, Meteor Strike is a decent upgrade for a little bit more damage. But I would say having full life to get the extra energy would make this fight much easier. You could also say Leap is not a bad upgrade. But I, I think I'm pretty confident with the rest here. Multicast is awkward with Hyper Beam, yes. So, Multicast still... It is really awkward. So, Hyper Beam, you're going to be losing focus. So, things like Multicast become a little bit worse. There are times where I have used dark dark orbs and multicasts and hyper beam together and trying to and I still have that versatility where I can still do dark orb scaling and use multicast. But in this situation, meteor strike, you guys are gonna see 
going to be fantastic because it's going to open up energy, which is going to open up card draw, which will open up more plays. It's going to be nice. The skim upgrade is good. Yeah, the skim upgrade is good. But here's the thing. With, right now, I'm operating on three energy a turn. With the skim upgrade, I get four card draw, and that could potentially give me better turns. But if I rest, I get Rune of the which is giving me four energy. And that allows me potentially to play an extra card or skim and still do more stuff. I'm going to go... F I mean, it feels bad to rest just for energy when you rather just, like, get upgrades for the Act 3 and the longevity of the game. So we can say, okay, I think we're still doing fine on 3 energy as it is. Especially if we get Echo Form first turn because that's doubling the value of everything. What do you guys think? Would you rest for energy or do you think upgrades are just so important that you want to upgrade the skim and you get the card draw? I don't know. Skim is like getting more energy with Snickerlite. Yeah, it's true. So if you think about a skim is drawing an extra card, there is a variable chance to get extra energy if it costs free, or depending on what cost it is, right? There is a variable chance. Rune of the Decahedron is guaranteed energy, right? But Rune of the Decahedron is a, is a fickle, fickle thing, right? Because that may be gone in a turn or two, and then you rest it for nothing, you don't get the energy anymore. Skim stays with you. So you know what? I convinced myself, you guys convinced me, whatever it was, because this is such a fickle little son of a gun, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, do what I just did. And so Seek could get me the Echo Form. Yikes. Here's what we could do. We could do Meteor Strike and then Dual Cast. So we have an energy gain. I mean, this could potentially be a very, very good first turn, right? So now we, now we can Seek for the Echo Form, right? And I'm happy with that because we got the Meteor Strike out. We got Plasma. So now we're operating on five energy. And now we got Hyper Beam twice. We killed the ads. Easy. And just like that. Just like that. I think the fight's already won. I can hologram. So I can hologram back the meter strike and hologram back the hyper beam. Or I can hologram back the meter strike and bring back the skim and play really lo a lot of cards this turn. I like that. Let's do this. Meter strike and skim. Although, you know, I'd rather have skim beef. I kind of like a re rebound right now for the Meteor Strike. Let's do this. Now I like, I like doing Skim now anyways. So check this out guys, I do Skim now anyways, right? But now I'm drawing into Meteor Strike, which is going to be giving me an energy gain. Which means... I could do Hologram Meter Strike again and get energy gain. Now, there's, this is not infinite, but the amount of damage and stuff that I'm doing is, is pretty nice. I mean, and that's a great turn. Now we're operating with six energy. Hyper Beam would be fantastic here. We didn't get it. I still argue that, like, the Reinforced Body just covers all of it. It gets rid of some of my energy. Like, it makes it a pretty dead turn. And I, I can't do letter opener, but we're drawn to hyper beam guaranteed next turn. So let's just do this. I'm killing it. Hey, thank you, Q. Appreciate it, man. So this is interesting. <laughs> if I do Sunder twice, I'm getting an energy back, but then I don't get the hyper beam twice, which is killing all the ads. So let's do this. All right. If I did trip first, there's a chance I had lethal on this guy. But I, see, the way that trip operates, not only is it expensive, but echo form, it takes up the echo form. Here's what I'm going to do. I could just take the hit because I'm going to rest. Any, I'm going to heal after this anyways. There is some value in saving some life because of, essentially with team, you don't heal to full. But uh, I don't think it's worth the weak pot. You could argue that I might lose the weak pot afterwards anyways. Like, I might gain a potion. Okay, I'll do this. Just to save the life. It's fine. I, I don't mind zap, because it's basically free. Okay. Alright. GG. GG. This is nutty. Because now we have a free skim, so all this energy is going straight into cards. 
I can also hologram that right back. I love it. Very nice. Very nice. This is going to be for a 3 0. If we win this game, guys, it's for 3 0. Um, Alright, should we get offered Electrodynamics Amplified Nova? There is some merit. You gotta go, you gotta be right back. Alright, I'll see you on Awful Tilt. There is some merit in um, Amplify, right? Because we have Gambling Chip, right? So with Gambling Chip, we can potentially seek out the Amplify in the Echo Form and immediately get the value by doing double Echo Form. And that's gonna help a lot because then I could do things like Meteor Strike twice, Hyper Beam twice, Trip twice, stuff like that. There's also. So that's the only power in which Echo Form, in which Amplify does something. But. That's, for me, that's worth it already, because I draw 7 cards a turn. With Skim, I'm drawing potentially 11 cards a turn. And as, if I could get Amplify on the Echo Form and guarantee that with Gambling Chip or Seek, I already think it's did its job. I don't even care if it's in my cycle clogging it up. Because of the value I'm going to get from Double Echo Form, I don't mind having a curse. If I had a curse that said, you can play Echo Form twice, but it's going to be a curse in your deck for the rest of the, uh, rest of the fight, I would take that curse. So I'm going to take that curse. Okay, so we get energy with Philosopher's Stone, and that's going to help us do more things. It's going to help us play more cards, potentially do more crazy things. But at the same time, it makes the enemy stronger, and my defense is not that solid. You could argue that my offense is really strong, so why do I care about how much damage they're doing if my offense is going to kill them anyways? And I think that's a good point. I would say, you know, that's a pretty decent point, Jeremy. It's a good point you make, Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, your offense is really strong. Who cares how strong they are? But there are times like if I don't get a good Sneko Hands and then I'm faced the Darklings, then I might get screwed. But my deck is destroying the Darklings. So I'm going to go for the Philosopher's Stone. I think we are in a position where... Like, we can manage. We can manage. Uh, Philosopher's Stone is a little bit bad against Donor Deca, but I feel like my deck is decent against Donor Deca because I have the Trip AoE, Hyper Beam AoE. I do have um, Sunder Double if I can do that. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go for a store, because we didn't get a store in Act 2, so we have 334 gold. So that can be really nice. Only problem is if we go for a store, we have to fight an early elite, which I'm not as worried about, but I still think the giant head is kind of an issue. Like, I've been in the situation before where giant head almost kills these kind of decks, just because if you don't have scaling, giant head is going to eat you alive. And it's kind of a bummer that there's not a store in anywhere else. I mean, there is a store of here. I might go just go this path to get the store. In order to get this door, I would have to sacrifice one campfire and do a forced elite. And you're probably thinking, why are you so scared of an elite? Because I think the giant head is that strong that I'm still scared of him. But that was one time when I had choker. I don't have choker this time. Maybe we'll be fine. Highway to the dangers. I didn't anthrax. There's a late store here, right? That's like super late store. And in order to get that store, I would have to sacrifice one of the rests, which is fine. I'll still get three rests. And it's super late elite, but by the time I get to this elite, I'm probably going to be able to handle it. Um, the alternative is to go here. We get one elite, and then we can still get three rest and early shop. Let's go for the late shop. I like the fact that it kind of gives me more leeway in when I fight the elite. Echo form. I mean, this is fantastic. So, I think Amplify is kind of bad, right? So, now, I took Amplify just for Echo form, and now that Echo form is played, Amplify is a curse. I might end up removing it. Unless we find other powers we want to play. So this is 64. This is... 64. 64. This is nice because you get energy back, right? So I can do Meteor Strike twice. But get the energy back. And I can finish off with Sunder. I mean, our offense is insane. I like another stack. I think stack is a great defensive card. And when you double it with Echo Form, it feels, it feels amazing. Not to mention, I can kind of get rid of stacks with family chips. If I have a stack first turn, I can get rid of them so that they don't give me... They're not like curses, right? <clears throat> I think we like the Sunder here. We like the Seek as well, because we have Sunder, we're going to get energy back. And then we can use Seek on um, the Echo Form. The only problem is... The only problem there is we, Seek is not upgraded, so we're not getting Seek and Amplify, uh, Echo Form and Amplify, which we want to do. Stack is doing 20 block. I think dual cast is... So if I do zap twice, dual cast. I think, it's, I think that's just as good. Mm. 
Okay. Uh-oh. Damage. So here we got the meter strike twice. Very nice. We don't have card draw, though, so we're not really doing as much as we could be doing. We're taking some damage here. I wish I had skim. So you know what? At this point, because I have four energy with this, and because I have things like Meter Strike in my deck, I could probably take one, even two more skims. Because I would benefit so much from being able to draw more cards, because I have a lot of excess energy. The best way, the, So the thing is, I can't kill this guy. I could do Meteor Strike twice. It's 48, right? And then I'm doing the, the Evoking. After that... I'm better off just killing this guy right here, right? So if I trip first, I won't double Meteor. And then my, ten, my turn ends there. I can still do Turbo, I guess, Defend. So trip is three, right? And then I I can't do it. I won't get energy back from Meteor Strike. But then you could argue I can use Turbo and still Defend and do the same thing I was going to do. I don't know if that's as worth it. I like the energy... Actually, if I meter first, it kills this guy, and then I haven't. I still have my uh, echo form, which is actually better. So here's what happens: I still keep my echo form because it didn't play twice. So I can go ahead and defend twice instead, and that's nice. I don't mind doing vulnerable here. Alright, so we're taking what? 16 damage. That's fine. This 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 hand on the other hand is not it's not that fine. <laughs> uh, let's do this twice then. GG. GG. All right, that's fine. We took some damage, but we have Regal Pillow. If we take too much damage, I like Hologram. I think Hologram is gonna be great. I mean, Hologram is often gonna be zero cost, and if it's not zero cost, it's probably gonna pick up something that is zero cost. I think it makes sense. It requires an upgrade. And, like, by itself, it's not very good, but if I upgrade it, it's great. So I'll take it. So this is the fight where Philosopher's Stone can kick your ass, but luckily... Well, this is, this is rough. Okay, so luckily we have... <laughs> we have Trip... We have Trip... Hyper Beam. Let me see how much damage that is. I think that's... It's like 48 damage, right? Mmm, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. If I do Reinforce Body, I'm blocking for 36. And these guys are doing... 27, 40 damage. I'm only taking 4 damage, but I'm also doing Hyper Beam for free anyways, right? So I think this is a better play. So if I was kind of a dead card, I, I, I've come to realize... And this is just the best play, because Trip is not killing them. Let me just do the math right. 16, yeah, it's 48, so let's do this. That's fine. It might be, it might be worth using my attack potion, yeah. It, it might be worth just because I'm holding onto these potions. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill this guy. We have Skim, so we can do Leap. I have Hologram, which, by the way, gives me Hyper Beam, which I didn't... Take that to account. It's GG. So I got saved a little bit just because I didn't get a potion and I, I potentially could have wasted a potion there. So I'm going to start using the potion just because so I don't have it. Potential waste. Um, Doom and Gloom is okay with Echo Form and Snake White. This could be more AoE damage, which works really well against the uh, Dono Deca. And it gives me Dark Orbs, which are going to get not as effective with the Hyper Beam. I think I'm going to skip here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip here. Even though Doom and Gloom is not bad. Okay, so Reinforced Body we're gonna hold on to just because worst case scenario, that's doing some good stuff for us. And we hold on to Amplify just in case Echo Form was cheaper, and it's not. So we'll do this, and then this. Well, he's only doing 18, so I could afford to do... Well, this is a situation where I can't play Echo Form. Damn. Okay. 
Um, I think we can manage this fight without Echo Form. Because we have things like Meteor Strike. Oh my god. Oh, this is a crazy turn, guys. This is a nutty turn. So we have Meteor Strike, which is, for me is better because I evoke and then I get all the energy back and then I have Skim or Hologram. Or Hologram. Wait, it was random, my bad. Never mind. Forget what I said. Ah, uh, it should be GG here. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and assume that I'm gonna have lethal very soon. You're grateful that it lets you not take the 2 HP? I mean, in what situation would you not want the 2 HP? I'm trying to think, in what situation would you not want the 2 HP? I think... So we talked about how we need more skims, right? Because we were we in a situation where we are actually getting a lot of excess energy and skim could be useful. But then reboot is kind of interesting as well because reboot could be a whole reset of your bad RNG. And it exhausts itself. So they're both strong in their own ways. Red Skull is true, Red Skull. I think since Reaper's rare, we're gonna do it. I know you can argue that Reaper may not be free. I'm gonna lose dual cast. I, I think dual cast is really not doing that much for us. It has sometimes give us energy with plasma, but eh, it's okay. I think uh, hologram needs to be upgraded, right? I could do the elite. I'd rather not. All right, so Re Reaper's pretty crappy here. I really like Trip. I'm, I'm hoping Trip is. Nope. <laughs> What's funny is if it gets Seek, I can get Turbo. And then Turbo allows me to do. It's not that good, actually. Turbo is, is, is just a negative thing. That sucks. Alright. That was some bad Snake Y RNG right there. Easy. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. I like that. That's always nice. So, stack is amazing. I mean, this is why we love stack. And I got the Amplify Echo Form, so we are feeling so good, it's unbelievable. So, next turn, we're going to have uh, two cards played twice. Well, Sunder's good enough. Our deck is very strong. Ancient Pot? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Go ahead and skip here. I think Seek deserves an upgrade at this point because Seek can allow me to get the Amplified Echo Form or, or Turbo or whatever I need to get. Unceasing Top? That's card draw right there. So that could be good. It's not gonna be like good against Dona and Deca because Dona and Deca give you days. I'm gonna go ahead and do reboot and see what I get. We got Sunder into a Seek, which could give us Hyper Beam again, which is free for some reason, and then Hologram. Wait, what? Whoa, I didn't realize how, like, reboot's insane. So reboot keeps the cost in which it was in the discard. So Re Hyper Beam was free, so I can, wow. I think Strength Pot might be better than Poison Pot. I mean, Poison Pot can get rid of an artifact. That's another skim, so I'll take the skim. And I'm going for the shop. Like, I could go for the Elites and get another red. I'd rather go for the shop, see what we get. This could be good. This could be like a blind. I think Secret Technique is pretty good. I think Ma uh, Master Strategy is pretty good. So Secret Technique can allow me to get the Amplify if I need it, the Turbo if I need it, the skim. It may not be free. But it has it has ability to do stuff. I think Manus doesn't really work that well in um 
the Sneko Eye deck, right? It only lasts for that turn. Speaking of madness, I'm gonna go ahead and get the heal. Okay. We got Apotheosis. Which is not that great, actually, because if you think about it, a lot of my upgrades would lower costs. I mean, Apotheosis is okay for the Steam Bearer, it's okay for the, the rebound and the leap. But it's not that useful. It gives me some more damage on the Meteor Strike. Honestly, I'd rather remove the curse that I have. I think Ornamental Fan, I guess, is okay. It's not the greatest shop. Actually, this shop is pretty shitty. This shop is pretty shitty, so I'm gonna remove the curse first and foremost, just because that's gonna make my first turn worse. I don't think about this is that great. I don't need to upgrade Echo Form because Echo Form I'm planning to play it no matter what. So if I'm I'm not I'm not upgrading Echo Form just because I plan to play it no matter what. Even if I take damage, I'd rather play it because that's such a good card. And we're trying to use Echo Form, like we're trying to get Echo Form out with things like uh, Seek, Gambling Chip, and things of that nature. So I, I don't need to upgrade it. Especially in this boss fight, I'm planning to play Echo Form no matter what, right? Uh, the only thing that would probably upgrade would be Reboot, because Reboot would be 7 cards, and that can make the turns even nuttier. And we just saw how that interacts with Sneko Eye. Another upgrade would be something like Leap to have more consistent defense, or um, Skim for more card draw. Aside from that, we're good. Yeah, this, this shop is pretty meh, so I'll do the fan just because at least it gives me some value within the fight. And you could argue that Undo could be coming handy. So I'm drawing 7 cards a turn. With Skim, I'm drawing at least 11 cards. You could argue that Undo may save my ass at some point. Like, I have more flexibility in whether or not I could use Undo. Because I have 2 holograms, I draw 7 cards. And I have card draw with Skims that Undo may get played. It may not be f 1 cost, but it may get some value. But that's not the cost of any of these. So this is Focus, or this is Thorns. Again, not really the greatest potions either. I'll do the undo, and let's go. That's it. We're ready to go, guys. Wasn't the greatest shot, but whatever. We got Sunder, we got Hyper Beam, and we got a Hologram, but we're also taking a lot of damage. So this is doing 64 damage to one of them. And I can block for 9. Let's do this. I could do Hologram, Hyper Beam, Hologram, and if I get another Hologram, I'm probably doing some other stuff. Let's do this. I'll keep the Sunder. I'm not keeping the Sunder. Oh, so we got Hyper Beam, Hologram, Hyper Beam, Hologram, Hyper Beam. Wow. That's 96 damage. With Letter Opener, that's killing the guy in the back. That's insane. With Letter Opener, I'm killing the guy in the back. On top of that, guys, on top of that, we got Bottle Lightning. We got Bottle Lightning for Seek. So we can guarantee Amplify Echo Form on the first turn. I mean, this couldn't get any better. This couldn't get any better. I'm going to go ahead and skip. We're going to rest. So, again, okay, we, we talked about how upgrading Reboot makes some sense. Make that better. Skim for card draw makes some sense. Um, but if we rest, not only are we making sure that we are healthier throughout the fight, and use our, our health as a resource. We also get Runic Dodecahedron, which gives us more life. So it's a little bit over, over healing, right? I'm healing for... I'm healing, like... Like 22 over, or 23 over than I, than I should be. And I don't know how much, so I don't know how much more important Skim is. I mean, we did the same thing last time where we thought Skim was probably a better upgrade. I don't think Amplify is a good upgrade because I only have one power, right? My only power that I have is um, Echo Form. So it, it, this is just a curse. Amplify is just a curse that I'm using to get Echo Form twice. And then, then it gets its value. How you doing, Pumbao? Welcome, and you can't write? Yeah, I won't forget the power potion either, yeah. Which makes Amplify like, a little bit better. <clears throat> I guess we'll rest. We'll rest. Alright, Power Potion. Okay, well first we want to replace 
I like the holograms. And I like the trip. I like all these cards. I'm gonna replace these two. Wow. Okay. Well, first and foremost, we got the Echo Farm for free. Guys, this is gonna be an insane turn. Just bear with me here, okay? We're gonna seek... I, I definitely wanna seek the Amplify, right? And I wanna seek out... I wanna defend. So, because I want to defend, I, I think I want to reinforce body. Although, you could argue Meteor Strike is pretty good as well. But I want to defend. I don't want to take damage. We're going to amplify the Echo Form. I think we won the game already. Right off, right off the bat. It's GG, in my opinion. But, we'll see. I like Trip. Hologram Trip to get rid of the artifacts. I like Leap into reinforced body. We don't take any damage. Now we, now we play four cards in the first two cards, so this is going to be great. Um, unfortunately, Auto Show doesn't work that well. <laughs> it's still a very good block. It just doesn't work that well. We have Sunder twice. We have Secret Technique. So we can do Secret Technique twice and bring back, let's say, a stack and bring out a... Um, I guess a Leap. Stack and a Leap. So stack is played twice as 14 times 2. I'm just trying to consistently defend. I want to keep my life to full. I'm already blocking, so I can go ahead and do Sunder now. We could turbo and do Skim. I'm going to go ahead and pass. I suppose turbo gives me letter opener. Let's, we'll do it. Let's see what we get. That's good. That's actually really good because I got out of, um... I let out some of the back cards, like the strikes, and now I can draw into Meteor Strike and Hyper Beam twice. Okay. This is great. So we got Meteor Strike twice, so we're getting energy gain, which is fantastic for me. I even have rebounds. I, so I can rebound Meteor Strike twice, and then... This could be a crazy first turn. I mean, let's, let's, let's check this out. Rebound twice, Meteor Strike... Okay, so now when we use skin, we're drawing back into it, right? Uh huh. So now when we use reboot, we're also doing. Drawing, but I'd rather do hyper beam, right? Then we do the reboot. Ah, that's a little unfortunate. Wait a second, I think we have lethal. Oh, we're one off lethal. One one energy off lethal. Damn. Because I could have done Poison Pot Sunder. I guess that's not good enough. Oh, that was a little unfortunate. We took some damage there. The reboot was kind of unfortunate. The reboot gave me a lot of days. Kind of a less than stellar reboot. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. <laughs> Let's undo what just happened there. I should have done undo. Why? I just wasted Echo Form on undo. That was okay. I, I'm I'm making a mistake right there. My bad. My bad. My bad. Even though Auto Shoots doesn't give me double, I still want to play it because it's still 15 block. Let's do this. There's Meteor Strike. So we can Haldogram the Meteor Strike again. I mean, you could probably argue that Skim is just as good. But we're not going to take damage here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a... Uh, I guess double strike. Very low impact turn here. We got double trip. I like it. I like double hyper beam. I like the skim. Mm, I like the sunder. I don't like how much damage I'm taking though.
I mean, we, we win. We win. So it's not... I didn't get perfect. I'm not here trying to get perfect. It's... It, it's, it's a win. It, we're 3-0. Okay, I mean, it's, it should be a win. Let's get back to the Sunder, I suppose. Alright, GG, guys. GG. That was a crazy run, guys. There you go, YouTube. That was a uh, Snickawai Hyper Beam Echo Form deck. Very crazy. I could have gotten a higher score, but I didn't want to go for elites. Just wanted to be nice and easy. For 3 0 right now. This, the glasses stay on. If you guys are not aware, these glasses mean I'm on a streak. So we're 3 0 right now.